Election Day. This happened yesterday, November 8th. This happens every four years. And in an election year, Election Day happens on the first Tuesday after the first Monday of November. Which means, if the first Tuesday of November happens to fall on November 1st, like it did this year, then it'll be the following week, or following Tuesday, November 8th. This was instituted by Congress in 1845. The reason why they don't have an election day on November 1st is because that's All Saints Day in the Catholic religion. And the reason why they didn't have election day on a Monday was because back then the, the U.S. was a very rural country and a lot of farming was involved. And so there was some there was a travel uh, travel considerations because polling stations were very far away. And since most people went to a church meeting on Sunday, they they wouldn't begin their travels until Sunday afternoon or they would use all day on Monday to travel. All I can say is watching this election, of course, this election was between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. It was a surreal experience. In the sense that I just had a feeling that we were just watching history being made. I think it was because Hillary Clinton was uh, said to be such a f favor to win. And it was such a shocker that um, Donald Trump won. I myself couldn't believe that he won. And I think even a lot of supporters and even people who worked in his campaign didn't believe that he could really win. I think the main person that really thought he could win was Donald Trump himself. I wanted to share my reaction, not to the reaction of the results, but the reaction of the reaction of the results by other people. I think those who didn't want Trump to win, and I myself personally didn't want Trump to win, a lot of people had a reaction of anger, uh, of being shocked, of being in disbelief. Even I myself and still a little bit in disbelief that he actually pulled it off. From a human standpoint, I would say, for those who think that Trump will just drive this country into the ground, this country is set up in a way of checks and balances to prevent one person or one party from doing so much damage. Although I, I do understand, and I myself have some kind of these feelings, that there's a certain uneasiness that, that is out of our control such as how does he represent the U.S. to other people? Uh, this, has to this has to do with foreign relations and trades and talks, etc. There have been all kinds of reactions, uh, whether it be um, protests in high schools in California, demonstrations and protests in Chicago and New York, uh, interesting comments coming out from social media, especially Facebook, comments from classmates, colleagues, and even your friends. The main thing we have to realize is the heavens do rule. You know, after our, we may have this initial reaction of shock and anger, but actually our response should be, Lord, your will be done. We need to be ones who pray for our gov government officials, who pray for the ones in position, that the Lord's will would be done. Even we should be ones who pray for Donald Trump. You know, those who are Hillary supporters may say, oh, how could we have lost? And even if you're a Trump supporter, you may say, oh, we won. But actually, you know what? No matter who it is, we have to realize that Jesus is Lord. He is the one who has already won the victory. He is the one that we trust. He is the one that we have our faith in. To Mr. Trump, I would say congratulations on the election. We'll be praying for you and for your presidency. But you have to realize one thing, you're not the one in charge. That's all I have for now. Until the next one.